you were still running the NAACP, what would you do now? How would you handle this? Would you <laughs> allow this woman to keep leading this chapter in Spokane? Now, John, let me preface this by saying I run from hypotheticals. But since you asked the question, let's just say that there are a couple of things that the NAACP has as options, uh, and I don't want to try to tell them what to do. But clearly, uh, the best thing for all parties in this is full disclosure. Uh, truth, veracity, integrity, those things are on the line. And so the issue is not so much that she happens to be white and happens to be president of the association, because the founders of the association were predominantly white and Jewish and Republican and female. The issue here is whether or not there is a sense of truthfulness about what's going on. So I would uh, caution others not to tell the organization what to do, but I think in terms of Ms. Dozal, it probably would be best for her to just simply come forward, uh, speak the truth and the facts in this matter, and then allow it to run its own course. You know, a lot of people have been speaking out about this. That's for sure, since this really started coming to light late last week. I mean, she has spent a considerable time advocating on behalf of black people. Still, though, her brother, an adopted brother in her family, she, he calls her actions akin to blackface. What do you say to that? Well, blackface was far more hideous. It was meant to uh, impugn. It was meant to degradate. It was meant to make a mockery of race. Uh, so I don't think this is the same thing. I don't think it can be put in the same basket as that. I think in this case, what we have is a situation where people are perplexed. I'm perplexed. You are. The whole nation is about what the truth is. And the only way to deal with that would be for her herself in her own way. And now, I don't want to say in her own time, because that time is passing the more we talk about this. But I think mm -hmm. it's important for her to come forward. She clearly uh, has an identification, if I might go that far, uh, with African-American struggles and culture and affinity toward it. She's a graduate of Howard University. She spent a great deal working, of time working on these issues. So she's not make-believe when it comes to her sincerity, I think, about whether or not she feels strongly about the issues that affect the larger African-American community. So the real point here, even as the uh, young lady, Katara Johnson, who was organizing the protests in Spokane, said, uh, they'll forgive her. They just want her to come and to tell them uh, what the facts are.